This is Mike Suzlow, Global Commodity Analytics in Atchison, Kansas, with your weekly livestock update for November 20th. With the cash livestock market here in the United States seeing very little action, and with weekly export sales mixed, moderating weather has helped to create an environment of long liquidation as we head into the last half of this trading week. Pork export sales for the week were down 26% below their four-week average, and slipping wholesale pork prices both have helped keep the hogs from finding that seasonal support that should be expected. We're now entering the ham-buying season, in other words. For instance, one large supermarket chain in the West here has been advertising a free ham with every turkey purchased heading into the Thanksgiving Day holiday. But this has not prevented the December hogs from moving below their 10-day moving average for the first time since November 6th. More important, this week's trade has pushed them also below the 40-day moving average. The technical weakness in hogs, coupled with growing uncertainty heading into Friday's USDA cattle on feed report, has the cattle also threatening some of their technical levels, with the December live cattle threatening its weekly low currently. One key element to this market, which I brought up in last week's video, is the animal weights and whether soy meal logistical and crushing problems of the last month will start to trim those weights. Well, indeed, the latest data shows that Iowa Barrow slaughter weights fell one full pound in the most recent data versus the prior week and now are just about three and a half pounds, excuse me, three and a half pounds higher than last year ago levels. For the next week, given that wholesale pork prices continue to carry a substantial premium to retail prices, hog futures should find some good support below the $90 level in my view, especially if the cattle on feed report at the end of this week shows a strong marketings number. Until next time, this is Mike Suzlow.